Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL free agency cycle, uh, specifically running back Eddie Lacy. Uh, and this is another video kind of covering some of the free agents that are going to be hitting uh, you know, the cycle this year, uh, looking at their production, their pre-draft profile in terms of what they look like coming out of college what they've done at the NFL level, and then giving some other sort of uh, data points here and there. Um, if you're new to the channel and you're not familiar with the work that I do when it comes to data and analytics, um, you can basically go to the description where all terms and definitions will be there for all the things I'm gonna be talking about today. So I do understand that there is a bit of a learning curve in terms of the things that I talk about on this channel. Um, I'm gonna do the best I can to kind of explain things as I go along, but again, if you're lost at any point, if you don't really know what anything is, I would highly, highly recommend you go to the description, look at the terms and definitions that are there uh, to give you just some perspective in terms of what I'm talking about, where I'm coming from when I'm talking about data and these other sort of things um, to give you so, some better perspective here. So with all that out of the way, let's look at what Eddie Lacy looked like in terms of his pre-draft uh, profile, uh, which should give us some idea as to what his actual NFL profile could end up being and then of course look at what he's done in the NFL level and then what he might be worth on the market uh, based on other sort of data points. Um, so overall when you look at Eddie Lacy's market share production score uh, this is basically just a general uh, again production score uh, since 1969. Uh, Eddie Lacy had a 51.93 out of 100 uh, score uh, and based on that he did not hit the all pro threshold the five-time pro bowl threshold or the three-time pro bowl threshold. I will say this much he did come close to the three-time Pro Bowl threshold, you know, 0 0.07 away. So you can give that to him if you want, just because of margin of error and those other sort of things to consider. Um, but overall, not the greatest profile ever in terms of his overall production. Definitely a guy that has fringe Pro Bowl ability, and he's been a back that has gone to a couple, you know, a, a Pro Bowl here and there. Um, but j just not a guy that you is going to be a perennial, per, perennial pro bowler, you know, in terms of his overall data, uh, if that makes any sense. Uh, and then, of course, you look at his athleticism data. Um, he had a 76.50 explosive lower body strength score, a 64.83 speed score, and a 33.63 flexibility score. Um, based on my data since the 1999 NFL draft class when it comes to athleticism data, every single multiple pro bowl, Multiple all pro running back had at least 179 or higher athleticism score. Um, so, whether you're talking about explosiveness, speed, or flexibility, every all pro Pro Bowl guy had at least 179 or higher athleticism trait. And when it comes to Eddie Lacy, he does not have one. He doesn't have uh, his explosiveness, isn't exactly where it needs to be. His speed isn't where it needs to be, and his flexibility isn't where it needs to be either. So, um, he's a back that essentially had fringe Pro Bowl production at Alabama. And then his athleticism is not even fringe. He just doesn't. It just doesn't have all pro Pro Bowl athleticism traits. Um, his explosiveness definitely is close. You know, he's close, um, very very close to hitting 79, but not quite there. Um, so these are just some things to kind of consider with him. Is that overall his production wasn't really in terms of his pre draft profile. His production wasn't exactly special. And his athleticism traits just don't really add up to be a multiple all pro, multiple pro bowl type. Um, so what was his actual impact at the NFL level? And that's what we're going to get to here. Looking at um, MSPY, which is passing yardage market share, and OMS, which is just total offensive market share, which is essentially receiving yards plus rushing yards. Um, and that's all basically scored against every single performance since 1969 uh, in terms of NFL performances. And when it comes to Eddie Lacy, He's a guy that has shown the ability to be a bell cow back a couple of seasons. I mean, when you look at his data, 2013 was pretty close with 88.03. Um, 2014, he had a 90 plus percentile season in terms of total offensive market share and was pretty good in terms of uh, passing yardage market share. But 2015 kind of fell off a bit. 2016 fell off a bit, a little bit more. And then 2017 was just below average across the board. Um, so he's not exactly a back that is coming off of his best season ever statistically. Um, so there definitely is some kind of concerns there uh, with his overall data. Uh, then when you look at first down conversion rate, so this basically deals with the ability to convert first downs into first down on various downs and distances. So essentially it looks at what a running back does on first down. You know, how often do they convert a first down into a first down with the, you know, through the run? 
How do they convert? How often do they convert a, a second down into a first down? How often do they convert a third down into a first down? So, the one thing I can say about Eddie Lacy is he's consistently been very good as a third down rushing back. Every season he's been an NFL player, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, even 2017, he has been above average in terms of his ability to pick up first downs on third down with the run. So that is his tangible value. Like that's like if you say, what are you getting with Eddie Lacy? Like what is a guarantee you're going to get with him? You're going to get a back that if you give him the rock on third down, here's a very good likelihood that he's going to convert those into first downs because he's done that consistently everywhere he's been. He's been very good in terms of converting, um, you know, first uh, third downs into first down. First downs into first down has not been his forte. 2015 was a little off in that area. 2017 a little bit off as well. Nor has he really been that amazing in terms of second down. Uh, you know, he's only had two above average seasons where he was above average in terms of converting um, for uh, second downs into first down. So there definitely are some things that are off about him, but I do think it should be noted that his ability to convert third downs into first down is admirable. And I think that that's kind of what you're getting with a guy like Eddie Lacy is that there is some value to this guy, but you have to understand that it's, you know, it's, it's very like it's, he's not a all around great running back in terms of his ability to convert first downs into first down. But he does have certain downs and distances where he does pretty well um, that can help you out as a team. Where his issues do kind of show up a bit, though, um, other sort of issues, I guess, is in terms of passing yardage market share or passing yardage uh, conversion. So this is basically a running back's ability to convert first downs into first down through the air, through receiving yards. Um, so this is what this chart kind of looks at here. And <clears throat> when you look at Eddie Lacy, he's had a couple of years. Um, 2014 was by far his best year in terms of his ability to uh, just convert, uh, rec you know, receiving yards into first down on first down, second down, and third down. But he's never been that great as a third down back, except for with the running. So that's the thing you have to understand with Eddie Lacy is that as a runner, if you hand him the ball off on third down, he def he converts those pretty well. But if you ask him to catch the football the backfield on third down he does not convert very well in terms of those situations so that is kind of the issue with Eddie Lacy is that as a third down back he is a juxtaposition if you give him the if you give him the ball if you hand him the rock off on third down in those situations he's going to get those first downs but if you try to use him as a back out of the backfield to get first downs he does not do well in those situations and again 2017 he was abysmal uh, 2016 was above average on first down, but below average on second and third. Uh, 2015 was below average in terms of second down and third down. And again, 2014 was by far his best season as an NFL player, but there's not been a lot of consistency there, as you can clearly see. So um, those are kind of the issues with Eddie Lacy is that you have to wonder, maybe his best days are behind him. It's not to say that there's that there's not something he's really good at because as I already told you before, the, the one thing that I think you can hang your hat on with Eddie Lacy is that if you give him the rock in short yardage situations, third down situations where you're running the football, you know, situations where you're going to run the, the rock on third down, which of course is going to be third and short. He's shown ability, uh, he's shown the ability to convert in those situations. But as a all around back, you know, a, a back who is able to catch the football in the backfield and get a first down. As a back that is able to get a first down on first down or get a first down on second down with the run. He's not exactly done that. His production has dropped off a ton. I think the 2014 version of Eddie Lacy is long gone as well. Like, I, I don't think you're going to see that Eddie Lacy again just because of how downward, how downward spiral he's been in terms of just his overall production and everything else like that. And he's a running back. Running backs typically lose a lot of value at this point um, of their career um, with a guy like him. So, uh, and again, when you, and of course, when you look at his profile, athleticism wise, doesn't really have the athleticism profile of all pro to pro bowl player was fringe at best to be a multiple pro bowl type coming out of college. So I think overall when it comes to Eddie Lacy, uh, I think if you sign him as a specific back, like if you are a team that needs a back that has a running back by committee system and needs a back to get the rock on third down and convert those into first downs with the run, he can do that. 
But as a all-around running back, there's not a lot of value there. As a receiving back, there's not a lot of value there in terms of consistency with him. Not a lot of value there. And I just think overall, you just have to take it as it is uh, in terms of what he is and those other sort of things. So um, I think overall, there is some value to Eddie Lacy. But the question is, is that value, what's that value worth? And I think it's not a lot. So that's the only thing I would say is I, I do think there's, I do think that there is a place for Eddie Lacy to be in the NFL, but I don't think he brings a all-around skill set to convert in every single down to make him worth a ton of money as a as a roster guy. So um, I, again, I think the 2014 version is way behind him, and I think you just have to view him as more of a committee guy who you use in certain situations, like I said, third and short, those types of situations. Um, and of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.